Hello all, welcome to binaryicos.com. In this video, I am going to show you the VTP configuration in the switch of the transparent motor. Okay, so this is our lab. Let's show. Uh, I will tell you the short introduction of my lab. This is a switch zero. Switch zero is a VTP server switch. Switch one is a VTP client switch connected to the switch zero. Here is our switch 2, it is a VTP transparent switch, it is connected to the switch 1 and switch 3, switch 3 is our VTP client switch, ok. Let me tell you now the theory of VTP transparent means what is the VTP transparent mode and how it actually works. Before that if you don't know what is the VTP server, VTP client and how to configure the VTP server and VTP client just go to my website binaryhackers.com go to the networking and CCNA tab and use this or watch this video the VTP configuration of server and client mode so your doubt will clear and you can learn how to configure the VTP server and client mode in the switch so let's talk about the VTP transfer so in earlier video I show that uh, how to configure VTP server and client ok so this is a VTP server switch switch 0 so whatever I configure a VLANs in VTP server it will go to the VTP client so it will broadcast that VLAN in the VTP clients so VTP clients learn that VLANs from the VTP server and configure that VLAN on its own VLAN configuration. After that, it will send that VLAN configuration to its connected adjacent switch. But the switch 2 is a VTP transparent switch. So it will not learn that VLAN configuration or it will not configure that VLAN in its own table. It just take that VLAN configuration and pass out to the switch switch 3 is a client switch so switch 3 learn that VLAN and configure on its own table so this is the use of the VTP transparent switch VTP transparent switch will not configure the VLAN configuration that come from the client or the server it just take that configuration and pass out to the connected switch so this is the theory let's see one practical of VTP transparent So this is my switch 0 and I already configure switch 0 switch port mode trunk. So this is the trunk right here and also configure to switch port trunk allow VLAN from 1 to 99 on this fast ethernet port F slash 01. So we, you need to configure the one port of the switch from the access mode to the trunk mode so configuration of server is done let show me show you the configuration show VTP status so this is the number of VLAN the default VLAN is 5 this is the operating mode is the server mode of switch 0 the domain name is Microsoft I already set a domain name so this all switches are in one broadcast domain and the domain name is Microsoft so now let's go to the switch 1 let me show you VTP status and see right here the operating mode of the VTP is a client mode because switch 1 is a client the domain name is a Microsoft I and in switch one I also configure all that client mode and domain okay so here it also the VLAN the existing VLAN is 5 the default VLAN now let's configure the switch 2 for the transparent mode enable configuration terminal and the VTP 
and I'm going to set a domain so Microsoft because all the switches are in one broadcast domain the Microsoft domain now I'm going to change the mode of the VTP the default mode of the switch 2 is the server mode so I'm going to change the server mode to the transparent okay the VTP mode is changed to the transparent mode now I'm going to make this access light to the drum default is access so I'm going to uh, change that switch port mode access to the drum for that interface fast ethernet so this port is f0 slash 1 and I'm going to change the mode of switch port and the default mode is the access mode and I'm going to change it to trunk you can see that the port is goes down right here and now it's coming up so it is starting the port so you need to configure a switch port mode trunk on its only a one port so the adjacent port it uh, restart and it will dynamically configure that mode to the trunk so you, you, don't, you do not need to go to the switch 1 on the fast ethernet f0 slash 4 and configure that port to the trunk okay so it is not necessary just configure only a one port so it will dynamically send that update to its adjacent port now I am going to allow this trunk allow switch port trunk allow VLANs 1 to 99 ok let's see the VTP status and you can see right here the existing number of VLAN is 5 and the operating mode of the switch 2 is a transparent mode and the domain name is Microsoft now let's go to the switch 3 switch 3 is a client let's first change the host name ok now go to the VTP set domain default one broadcast domain is microsoft change the mode default is a server change it to the client ok so in this uh, access mode we need to change the trunk mode so i'm going to change the fast ethernet f0 slash 1 the access mode to the trunk mode so let's do that interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk you see that it goes down and it will come up now just allow the trunk vlans one two ninety nine Okay, that's it. Let's see the VTP status. The operating mode is a client and the domain name is a Microsoft. So in this scenario, this switch 2 is a transparent switch and this switch 3 and 1 is a client. So let's now configure a VLAN in the VTP server. First, let's see the default VLAN. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's all the default VLANs. Total five. Now I'm going to configure a VLAN ten, VLAN twenty, VLAN thirty. Okay, so I configure VLANs in switch zero. Let's go to the switch one. show VTP status and you see that the number of VLAN is 8 so first default VLAN is 5 and now 
it's add three VLAN so the VLAN is eight show VLAN and you can see that it's updated the VLAN 10 20 30 on its VLAN table now let's go to the switch 2 and switch 2 will not update the VLANs on its VLAN table the default VLAN remain the same 5 let's see that show VTP status and you can see that the VLAN is 5 which will not increase that 3 VLANs in its VLAN table show VLANs and you can see right here the no VLAN is configured like VLAN 10, 20 and 30 on its VLAN table of switch 2 because switch 2 is a transparent switch it just take that all VLAN configuration and pass it to the switch 3 let's go to the switch 3 show VLAN and you can see that the VLAN is updated on the switch 3 10, 20, 30 so this is the use of VTP transparent in the switch. So this is all for this video of VTP configuration. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.